so hello everyone in this video we are going to see the interview experience of an electrical engineering student so let's start so in this video we are going to see the questions that were asked to an electrical engineering student and this in, uh, video is going to be from his perspective what all were the questions that was asked to him and how we have treated to the interview panel and all of these things so let's start so first of all the duration of the interview was 30 minutes and uh, he started by <coughs> so the interview started by greeting with HR so HR first said good evening and he replied good evening ma'am and the next question was how are you and uh, he replied I am fine how are you so a point to note over here is you should always reply or you should always greet them and even ask them also that or you should say thanks for asking how are you in in this way you should answer okay so the HR replied I am also good so the next uh, thing that has happened was document verification by the camera and uh, usually this thing is done by HR and uh, you should uh, so this means that you should be prepared with your documents your government ID your Aadhaar card or any other document proof so you should be prepared at that time because they might ask you to keep that in front of the camera or show the so show that in the uh, in the PDF format or image format so you should have all of these things with you uh, many times what they do is they ask you to keep in front of the camera and they take the screenshot of it so you should have the hard copy as well as the soft copy so let's move ahead so Acha, tell me about yourself so the student what let's see what the student has answered uh, actually this is a basic question um, whenever you are setting for the interview you must have to prepare uh, about this question so what you should do is you should prepare an introduction of yours uh, for about like 30 to 60 minutes and uh, 60 seconds sorry uh, like about approximately one minute you should not exceed much uh, maximum to maximum you should say it for two minutes because uh, if you stretch it further then the interview might uh, interviewer might uh, stop you in between and because they also have other interviews and all the questions are also uh, fixed uh, before only so you should not stretch it too much uh, for to make it sound very fluent you should what you should do is you should uh, uh, write your introduction on a paper and practice two to three times before the interview okay so let's see ahead so next is the technical round so till now the greeting and all those things has happened and now let's start with the greet, uh, technical round what all were the questions that were asked in technical round and uh, always uh, just keep in mind that uh, this is an interview of electrical engineering student so the first question by TR is in your resume it is written that your areas of interest are electrical machine and power system but in TCS we don't have any applications of these subjects then how will you manage a TCS uh, so if you are from any other branch apart from CS and IT uh, like ME or C or electrical or EC you also might get this question because uh, in service based companies majorly the task is related to uh, CS and IT so if you are from other branch you should have a valid point that why should they hire you why are you uh, fit for this role so what the student has said is I was trying to convince them about my interest in CS subjects also mentioned some subjects like C data structure Java and Python so what you should also do is you should convince them in such a way that uh, you have the knowledge of CS subjects too and uh, you have knowledge of uh, some languages that are uh, uh, related to computer science so that your chances of getting selected is uh, equal as a CS student uh, because anyway once you join they will tell you what work you have to perform but for that you have you should have basic knowledge of the branch that is the CS sub, uh, branch knowledge so that's why you should answer accordingly now let's see the next question so are you nervous so in this case uh, what the student is answer is yes sir, a little bit then told me then told him about a problem I was facing with my CPU and asked for forgiveness for the inconvenience so um, from this we can notice note that uh, if you are nervous in your interview the interviewer might catch uh, at that same point only 
because they are very experienced and the nervousness reflects from your face so whatever the problem is or whatever issue that you are facing you should consult with the interviewer and not hesitate at all usually in 90 percent of the cases the interview panel is very friendly they will help you out in every way possible uh, so you should not feel nervous about anything if you feel nervous what uh, what the bad thing has will happen is the worst in worst case your interview performance will get affected and uh, you might not answer correct uh, correctly in the interview and you will stammer and all those things will happen so that's why uh, any problem that you have you should directly say it to the interviewer so let's see the next question uh, let's see what the interviewer has replied don't worry it will not affect your interview if you have any problem then don't hesitate to tell us so thank you sir so what the interviewer has said is that you don't have to worry about anything if you have any problem you can directly tell us so that's this shows that our interview panel was very friendly which in most case it is so let's see the next question so okay so let me check your technical skills as you have mentioned c java python and can you tell me the difference between c and java so one thing to note from here is whatever the uh, languages and points that the student has mentioned in his resume uh, those only are fo being focused upon so you should also have prepared in such a way that you should have thorough knowledge of your resume before sitting in the interview you should not mention mention any skill which is uh, not up to the mark of your knowledge because they might have they might go deep into the technology that's why so what the student has told is told that C is a procedure oriented language and Java is object oriented in Java we have classes in object whereas as in C there is no concepts like that okay so this is the basic answer for what is the difference between C and Java so let's move on to the next question now do you know the memory representation in C and Java and how they differ so what the student has replied is sorry sir I don't have much knowledge about the memory representation and how they differ so I would suggest you if you also uh, falls in this fall in this case that where they ask you a question which you have like no knowledge about or no idea about what what are the topic is so you should straight away up to the point tell that i don't have any knowledge about this thing or i can't recall at the current moment so that yours and the interviewer's time both is saved so also you as you know that the student is from electrical background that's why he might not have the uh, understanding of core concepts of computer science so that is totally fine if you also are, uh, don't have some knowledge or about some question you should directly say no to the interviewer so that he will move on to the next question so what is the next question that was uh, to ask this okay what is the difference between a pointer variable and a normal variable okay so this is a basic question every computer science student would know this answer but if you are uh, sitting for an interview you should prepare these basic questions first okay so let's see what he has answered is he gives me two snippet of code related to pointer and asks me the output okay so in majority of the cases from the non uh, csc branch uh, students like uh, other branches students what they do is they give the snippet of codes and you have to answer that snippet of codes because they know that uh, it might take too much time for them for the student to answer to write the complete code that's why what they do is they uh, they should they always keep some snippets of code and they give that in the interview so you might also get some snippets uh, so snippets are basically very easy to uh, take the output instead of if you are given the comp in uh, given a chance to write a complete code uh, it might be difficult for a non cs students that's why they do this in most of the cases so the next question is do you do no database no sir as it was not in our university curriculum so okay so i what i would suggest is even though if the computer science subjects are not in your syllabus you should prepare basic uh, answers like one or two paragraphs about the uh, about all the core subjects so so that you don't uh, sit empty in the interview you you must have something to say right and then after that if the discussion goes deep you can then say that as i am from non-cs background i don't have this subject in my uh, curriculum so i am not very much uh, friendly or well acquainted with this concept right so you can say 
that in that way but you should not like uh, straight away say no you should first of all try and but don't give false answer right if you know only then only say it otherwise you can say no in first attempt only but you should try at least so let's see the next question now then he gave me an easy puzzle and i solve it instantly yes in most of the cases uh, in ninja it is seen that the interview interviewer gives a puzzle or an aptitude question to solve to the students so next see then one last question what is abstract classes and he told them uh, about it okay so okay thank you thank you so have a nice day so that's all about this tr round now let's move on to the managerial round that is mr round first of all basic greetings good evening how are you good evening sir i am fine how are you i am fine from the mr side so let's move on to the first question if you are assigned to a work and you have to do it every day then after 2 to 3 months you realize that you are losing interest in that then in that case what will you do so in most of the um, mncs what happens is once you get recruited or selected the basic task is like very contiguous and you have to do the same task for months like 3 to 4 or 5 or maybe 6 or more than that so that's why this question is put up then if you feel like uh, the same task is given again and again what will you do in that case so you should answer accordingly you should never say that i don't like this thing and uh, i will be disinterested in this thing you should say accordingly that it does not hamper your performance in the interview so let's see the next question now there are five people in a team excluding the first one the average age of rest is a then excluding the second one the average becomes b and then c d and e similarly how can you find their ages you don't have to tell the answer just give me the approach okay so this type of questions are also put up in many cases they just they are uh, they only ask to give the approach to know that how you think right they don't tell you to give the exact answer because it might take too long to find the exact answer so you just have to tell the approach okay so let's move on to the next round which is hr round so let's see what are all the questions that were asked do you have any education gap you if you have you should definitely say yes if not say no do you have any standing arrears standing arrears here refers to any backlogs if there are any backlogs that are pending you should always say yes if not say no will you have any problem if you are given the posting at chennai so if any time any question regarding to relocation or any posting at different place is given so you should always say that i don't have any problem i can i love to explore new places you can uh, support your answer with these things so the next question is will your parents have any problem so no ma'am not at all so you can see that you should answer in such a way that your chances of getting selected get increases right so it you should not answer any such uh, you should not give any such answer that will affect your performance and they might get a second thought of rejecting you so you should answer accordingly right so what is the hr next question is you have excellent marks in your academics and also you have different areas of interest then why don't you going for higher studies like why don't you go for higher studies because in most of the cases what happens is if the student has a nice uh, mark sheet or uh, curriculum performance then they usually prefer to go for higher studies okay so even if you are interested also you don't have to say that i am interested you just have to say that uh, just give your own reason that i am currently not looking uh, for uh, doing higher studies or i am not interested in higher studies my financial condition is not good i am looking for a job currently so all these answers you should say even though if you are interested also but you should not say this in an interview if you say it uh, they might reject you because they think they will think that you might leave the company afterwards uh, for doing higher studies that's why so that's all for the hr interview and suggestions from the side of a student interviews interviewers in my case were very friendly and they were trying to make me comfortable all the time no questions were asked from project and core subjects in my case so this is in most of the cases in 90% of the cases the interviewer panel is very friendly so you don't have to be nervous at all you can ask straight away whatever the doubts or whatever difficulties if you are facing you should you can definitely ask straight away so the points to be noted is please go through your resume and don't be nervous 
whenever there is a question comes that you don't know accept it without losing any time yes it is very important because if you don't know any answer you should accept it and say no i can't recall it right now so that in this way yours and interviewers time both is saved so that's why and you should be like having complete knowledge of your resume so that if any question is put up from the resume you can die straight away answer it okay so that's all for this interview experience so um, some points that i would like to say is i am go i am making a complete playlist of interview experiences of different students of different branches es electrical civil mechanical electronics and many more i will apart from tcs ninja or tcs digital i will try to bring more videos of different companies also so if you like this video and uh, if you want to see more such videos you can see uh, you see, see the playlist section of uh, interview experiences in my channel and also you can subscribe the channel for more such videos and finally if you are also appearing going or going to appear for an interview i'm sure you will definitely make into this role just what you need is you need some practice before and if you do it definitely you are going to get this role so all the best for your interviews and thank you